Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Slurry Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Wishmaker, the new fragrance by Little Mix. So, I got this fragrance off of Amazon through the Fragrance Counter UK. Super, super happy I got it. Um, one of my friends told me it was on there, and so I ordered it. Thank you to her for telling me that it was on there. So, very, very happy I finally got this fragrance. I've been trying to get this out of the UK, and just due to timing and whatnot, I wasn't able to get it. Um, but it did happen to show up on um, Amazon, so I ordered it from there. So, the box, I actually like a whole lot more than the previous one. So the front says, Wishmaker Little Mix. It's got the Little Mix logo here. It's got the four girls, and then you've got like this kind of like um, splatter paint slash splatter powder slash whatever. I don't even know what you want to call it. Pixie dust. Um, on it, the sides are this high gloss purple. The top, also high gloss purple. The bottom, high gloss purple. And then the back, it says, Wishmaker Little Mix. I just think the girls look gorgeous in this. There are other fragrances right here. That was Gold Magic that came out last year. Um, I got the 100 milliliter, so the bottle looks like this. The only issue I have with the bottle is it does look... Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, <laughs> the bottle does look super cheap, I want to say, but there's a couple issues. One, I like this bottom part. This top part, I think, is what makes it look cheap. The sprayer is this, like, really vibrant, like, metallic purple. I kind of wish this piece was this metallic purple, and I think it would have looked a little bit more expensive. Um, but they just, I mean, it just looks, it doesn't look super expensive, which is my one issue with this fragrance and bottle and everything, is it just doesn't look super expensive. Um, I'm in by that, I just mean it doesn't look, not that Celebrity Perfumes ever look super expensive, it just, it doesn't look like it should cost as much as it does. So, and then I also got the socks, um, which was a nice surprise. They sent me the socks. I wasn't expecting to get those. So, that was kind of cool. Don't know if I'll ever wear them. Who knows? But anyway, so, top notes are ripe apricot and neroli. Middle notes are freesia and toffee candy. Um, and base notes are sandalwood and vanilla. So, this fragrance does smell like another fragrance, which I haven't seen anybody compare it to yet. Mainly because the fragrance I think it smells similar to isn't available in the UK yet. Um, so I think that could be part of the reasons. So, when you first spray it, I get a little bit of the apricot and the neroli kind of mixed in together. Um, the standout note of this fragrance is definitely that vanilla in the base. And I feel like the toffee candy kind of balances that and creates this... Um, just really sweet vanilla fragrance. Well, you got a little bit of the fruits in there, and then you got a little bit of the florals playing in there. The freesia, um, what's the other, like, oh, the freesia is, like, the one official, like, floral note, which I get a little bit of, but it's not super, super strong. The sandalwood definitely does add a little bit of a woodiness to the fragrance, um, but it's not super duper woody. I definitely would say this is very vanilla, um, very pretty vanilla, Definitely my favorite Little Mix fragrance. It outbeats um, Gold Magic. There's only two of them, so I can't really, you know. This does beat out Gold Magic. Um, and the fragrance I think this smells like, it, I think it honestly smells a lot like Paris Hilton's Gold Rush. And there's differences between the two, um, but I feel like they're sisters and they are very similar. Um, I was a little bit worried about this because I had asked some people what they felt like it smelled like and I've read comments and people said it was fruity and kind of spicy and then, you know, whatever. I'm getting a lot of, like, the fruit. I'm definitely getting the apricot and the neroli, but I'm definitely, it's playing off of the vanilla and the toffee. So I feel like the freesia and the sandalwood are only there to add accompanying rolls into this fragrance, but it's definitely the vanilla toffee powerhouse with a fruit um, underlaying. It's not super, super strong. It's not super, super powerful. Um, they kind of just balance each other out. It is strong. Like, it's not, like, headache-inducing strong, but I can definitely smell it at mid to full arm length, length away from me. Um, and that's when I kind of noticed. At first, it doesn't really first sp smell like, uh, Gold Rush when you first, first spray it. Um, it starts to smell more like it as it dries down. They have a similar dry down. The openings are a little bit different. Um, 
but as they dry down more, and as this was drying down on my skin and I had it at an arm length, I definitely could smell more of the Gold Rush family in there um, than when I first, first sprayed it. Uh, when you first spray it, you definitely get the apricot and the neroli burst at the very top, and it starts to dry down and become more of a Gold Rush fragrance after that. So, um, excuse my voice, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I'm sick or if this is allergies or what the hell this is, but... Lord help me, I'm dying. And but I mean, it doesn't affect my sniff or any. Like I, my nose is clogged. It sounds like, but I can still smell. So anyway, uh, definitely think this is kind of a daytime fragrance. Um, but I feel like this is more of like a late day fragrance. Um, not really a nighttime fragrance. I have, I can see the elegance of it. Um, with a little bit of a difference that it is to Gold Rush. Um. I definitely can see this as, like, a later day fragrance. Um, lasting Power, it doesn't seem like it would fade very much. Um, you probably get your normal five to six hour Lasting Power out of this, with it being an Eau de Parfum. Um, I definitely would say this could definitely be someone's signature scent, and I... It's, it is very safe, and I feel like that is how the other one was too. I don't know if I said this in the Gold Rush or Gold Magic review, but Gold Magic really reminds me of like a magazine, like the interior of a magazine. I'm not sure why. If you've ever smelled Gold Magic and you know what I mean, like you can see what I mean in there. Um, but I definitely do get like a Gold Magic vibe from, or a magazine vibe from Gold Magic. This I feel like is its daytime fun sister. Um, it has a little bit of like a, the vanillas are similar in them, but I definitely feel like this is very similar to Paris Hilton's Gold Rush. So there you guys go. There is my review of Little Mix's Wishmaker. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.